Let's talk about some of the stories behind some of your most popular songs. What's the story on Barracuda? <laughs> well, Barracuda was just um, a moment. It, it was a flash of anger, of realization of what we had got, gotten ourselves into. It happened one night after a show. Some sl really sleazy guy came up to me and, and implied to me that um, he was really turned on by the fact that me and Nance were lesbian incestual lovers. And that just, that just really got him going. In <laughs> yeah. his fantasy, that was. In his yeah. fantasy, right. yeah. So that, that made me so mad because I love my sister. And my, suddenly my, my mother's face, you know, <laughs> came right up saying like, don't get into show business, it's so tacky. It's <laughs> so, you know, full of sleazy people that are gonna misunderstand you. And I went, oh, you're so right. And it, <laughs> it made me really angry. I think especially because I felt that they had attacked her honor and both are honors. Both, yeah. So I went and wrote the words to Barracuda. <laughs> and just, I think I, if I would have had a gun, I might have <laughs> reacted differently to the guy, but thank goodness I didn't. <laughs> It's my understanding when Sarah Palin was the vice president nominee yes. on the Republican ticket, she, she at least some of the time used Barracuda as a campaign song. Yeah. What did you make of that? Well, we, we understood from watching the news and finding out all this necessary information <laughs> about Sarah Palin <laughs> that she used to use Barracuda as her basketball handle when she was playing basketball. And she was pretty good Sarah high Barracuda. school point guard. As yeah. A so she carried that on into her campaign, and, and uh, we were on the tour bus watching the, we had the TV on, watching the campaigns, you know, during the day. We heard that, and we just went, wait a minute, what? Uh, here we go again, you know. We could have written Barracuda again, you know, yeah, at that moment. Yeah, she, she represented so many things that we were against. Mm -hmm. We just didn't want Palin on our song. You know, so, so we, <laughs> well, it was so honorific we, in a way, though. They didn't even ask, you know, and we probably would have said no and uh, whatever. It was just sort of. But we spoke up because it should be a, a, being honorable, you know. It should be the be artist's respectful. decision whether they want to be representative of our future country's potential leadership. Let's talk about the song, All I Want to Do is Make Love to You. <laughs> That's a song that, um, All I Want to Do is a song that was written by a really famous uh, producer, writer, songwriter, Mutt Lang, who went on to do country music. And you can, you can hear in that song the formulaic thing that was going to become country music that he was up to already at the time. Um, for us, it was, it just has a great hook, it has a great sound. But for Anne, <laughs> not yeah. her favorite song to sing. Once again, the, it's the, the, about the, the, lyrics. the problematic lead singer. Um, <laughs> has to be authentic, has to believe in the words she's singing. Even though we changed the gender of the song yeah. around, which um, became then so, uh, you know, shocking that they banned it in Ireland <laughs> because it was a song then about a girl, a wanton lassie who picks up a, a guy. You picks know, up a hitchhiker. A hitchhiker. A hitchhiker guy. I said, you mean you change it around. Late at night. a woman who said, all I want to do is to make love yeah. to you. Yeah, like, you're a hitchhiker. <laughs> I don't know you, so let's get in the car and exchange fluids and now get out. <laughs> I mean, that's hideous. Well, I was going to ask you why you hate it. <laughs> I guess that's why. <laughs> but, yeah. again, it was enormously successful. They want to hear that song 
Even today, we uh, go to New Zealand or Australia, they're like, oh, please, please do that song. They love that song. It's an interesting thing about songs like that, though, because unless you're Ann Wilson and you have to stand there and deliver this message that are, that's in the words, you know, which I totally understand you, why you don't want to do, but most people, when they hear something that they love, they're not thinking into all the corners of the song. Right. That's right. They're just feeling good and listening to it.